Billy Creek Village is a park consisting of 38 historical buildings and structures filled with tons of antiques and artifacts from the 19th and 20th centuries. It was formed in the 1960s and opened its doors to the public in 1969. Some of the buildings located in this park are a log cabin, a dentist's office, a Catholic church, and a Baptist church, all from the 1800s, as well as a Civil War era home, an old governor's house, and many more. Park County, Indiana, where Billy Creek Village is located, is also well known for their covered bridges, three of which reside at Billy Creek. The village closed in 2012 due to poor funding and remained closed until recently when it came into new management who opened it up for the public to enjoy yet again and paranormal enthusiasts to rent and explore upon dusk. Much of the hauntings are yet to be discovered as it's so new. We only explored a couple of the buildings during our time here, so we merely dipped our toes into the possibilities this village holds. We plan to return someday soon to explore it to its fullest and learn more of the stories waiting to be told. Cassie and I are at Billy Creek. Yes. Investigating for the first time. And we're going to the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's too washed out. Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> sure is. I have my bright one, but I can't hold it. So we're going to be relatively quiet out there because um, a couple of the people already went to their spots, so. Definitely look, oh my fucking god, the cat's here. The cat? Where are you? As you can see, Cassie and I are in the schoolhouse at Billy Creek. This was the place I wanted to go to the most, so I'm kind of excited that we got to start in here. Um, so Cassie is setting up our REM pod right now. What does our REM pod do? So, it is an EMF reader, essentially. Um, it emits its own electromagnetic field, 
and when something interrupts it, it'll go off and let you know that something is there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn my arm down a little bit so you can see. Um, we have a K2 meter here and the digital recorder. So. Alright kids, class is in session. So I'm going to ask a question and if you can respond to it, you'll get an A for the day. What color comes after yellow in a rainbow? Where does a period go in a sentence? You know that one? That one's a little bit trickier. Basically. You really think yeah, how ugly that look? I think I think you look fine. How many chins do I have? Um one because you're tilting your head back. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you <master your> head. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding? <laughs> Zoom in, I think. I'm zoomed in on you right now. Of course you are. You have to blur it. Naughty. Just me. What are you teaching the that's school because, children? That's why I have to um. <laughs> Did you have any bullies here? I'd like to film kind of like POV stuff, like talk and walk style. You watch in the woods? I f that. <laughs> I didn't say in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse my language, children. Yeah, you're horrible. How are you the teacher and you're talking like this? Hello? Did you not hear that door? No, I think that was my elbow. <gasps> Did you get that? Wait, I think so. Stop, because I literally heard the door shut. Are you walking in here now? Is the cat in here? Hello? Hello? If something rubs my leg, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> go, go get up and look. Because if it's not the cat, that's most likely the rough that stops. Like, if, and like nothing came in here. So it's like, if it was the cat, it, it would have come in here, it wouldn't have just stayed out there. And I also would have saw it when I just went and checked and it wasn't there. Right. Okay. Well, welcome to whoever that is. Let me uh, readjust in my chair. That was crazy.
For like walking or what? No, not for walking, but I don't know if that was like the door swinging or unless you heard like creaking or something. I heard like creaking. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to watch back. Literally yeah. probably tonight. What the heck is that? That's my shoe. But there is somebody walking outside. Are you a former student that went to school here? There's birds outside. Those are crows. Yeah. That's interesting hearing them at night. Did you say portal?
it. What row was it in? One, two, three, four, or five? Are you upset that they let people investigate here now? same spot this whole time. Oh my god. It's not me. I was facing right on it with my camera too. Wow. Can you do that again?
in the footsteps and then having a trip wire off, even though we probably didn't catch it. That was creepy. I mean, that was fun. Here's Cassie's, like, I call it the anything laptop because you literally, and it's a block, you hook these little wires up to, like, a trigger object, and then if you touch near that trigger object, it goes.